guys, Chrono16 here. Today we're discussing Panstars C2011L4. This comet is not visible, uh, yet it will become visible on March 12th, 2013. It will become visible in the United States. Uh, it will be better if you're in the southern states of the United States because it's not going to get very high above the horizon. And beginning March 12th, oh, around 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern, and so on and so forth, just after sunset, you should look to the west and you will see Panstars C2011L4 low on the horizon. And it will be a, a magnitude of 0 0.73, which means you'll be able to see it with the naked eye. But uh, the best viewing times for this comet will be March 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th, somewhere in there, as it'll, you know, because after that, it's just going to get uh, dimmer and dimmer and dimmer after those days, but you still will be able to see it. Now, let's go ahead and put the orbit, um, oh, actually, that's the wrong one. That's the one for Ison. Let's go ahead and put the orbit uh, for Pan Stars here. And as you can see, uh, according to these lines right here, it will not uh, get that high above the horizon. This 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 right here shows how high the comet will be above the horizon, and it's not going to get very high at all. So again, around 12th, 13th, and 14th of um, March will be the best time to see this comet uh, as it uh, as it traverses uh, over in the west. Now um, let's go ahead and go a day ahead here to the 13th. Whoa, actually we went too far there. Let's go back here. We're going to go back here. There we go. Uh, as we step uh, forward in time, uh, there's a 12th, 13th. Now, on the 13th, if the comet is as bright as they forecast it to be, the tail will be behind a crescent moon. That will be very cool to see if you're able to see it. And on the 14th, the comet continues onward, and it gets dimmer as the days go by, 15th, 16th, and 17th. By the 17th, it will be obviously higher in the sky. Uh, just around 7, 7 p.m. or just after 7 p.m. And uh, the parent magnitude will weaken to 1.69. And as the days go on there, uh, going all the way up to, uh, oh, let's say uh, up until about the 25th, you'll still be able to see it with the naked eye. Uh, the apparent magnitude then will be a 3.36 as it'll be more toward the northwest in the sky. And uh, you'll be able to see the comet. But uh, after that, it'll be begin to be a little harder to see with the naked eye. So uh, really, actually, just get you a pair of binoculars. And it'll be best to uh, check this comet out with a pair of binoculars uh, starting on the 12th of March. Also, guys, real quick, just want to let you guys know, I've ordered a telescope a ten, with a 10-inch uh, mirror in it, a 10-inch telescope, a reflector telescope, with astrophotography equipment. I should be receiving it soon. That way, we'll be able to keep you updated on what's going on in the heavens, ice and other comets, asteroids, whatever is going on. We'll be able to take pictures of it and video of it and share it with you guys right here on YouTube. So again, we're talking about Panstars uh, C2011L4. It will become visible uh, basically beginning March 12th of this year. Look to the west just after sunset. You'll be able to get your best views of this comet on March 12th through, let's say, the 17th and 18th in the West just after sunset. Uh, I take a pair of binoculars. You can get a better view of it with a pair of uh, binoculars, okay? Anyway, if you guys haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe to it today. We'll keep you updated on what's going on out there. Thanks for watching. God bless.